morning. Today is the National Day of Prayer, and I want to read to you uh, the theme verse of this year's National Day of Prayer. It's found in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 14, a little book of the Bible, a little uh, book of prophecy in the back of your Old Testament. Listen to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 14. This should be our prayer above all prayer requests. It says, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Today we want to pray for several things. We want to pray uh, for our nation that God would use this moment of pandemic to bring revival. That there would be uh, confession of sins and repentance and a brokenness before the Lord. And that uh, as Romans 10, 13 says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. There would be a great calling out to the name of the Lord. We want to pray for this. We want to certainly want to pray for those who are sick, those who are dying, and those who are grieving. And we want to pray for those who are caring for the sick, our doctors and nurses, our medical and health care professionals. We need to lift them up and ask for uh, divine protection for them. Uh, I want to pray for our local leaders, our civic leaders, our fellow other churches uh, that are seeking to lead out and caring for our community. Look, we have a lot of needs right now. Our economy is broken and is seeking to get back up on its feet, but also many, many lives are at risk, and it's okay to care for both of these things, and we need to pray for both of these things. We also need to pray for our church and for the churches around us, our sister churches, uh, that God would use us in this moment uh, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. That's what we're called to be. The scripture calls us the body of Christ, and we need to be that body. Our world, our community uh, needs to see our church in action, uh, telling truth, giving hope, and showing love. And so let's pray for one another today. Uh, let's pray for our president, our governor, our mayor, our county judge. Let's pray uh, for our neighbors. Uh, will you join me in prayer today? And when this video concludes, I'm going to ask that you just bow your heads for a moment and pray for some of these things. Take some time maybe with your spouse, with your family, or call a friend and take some time to pray today. Let's call on the name of the Lord and let's pray that God would be glorified in our land. Thank you.